the story of mesopotamia early human beings were initially hunter gatherers and they moved from place to place in search of food slowly they began farming and settling down near rivers people started to live in groups near river banks such organized settlements are called a civilizations mesopotamian civilization this is one of the most ancient and famous civilization geographical extent mesopotamia lay between the two rivers the euphrates and the tigris in greek the meaning of the mesopotamia is the land between two rivers timeline many kingdoms flourished in this region the sumerians were the first people to settle down in this land around 4000 bc next society and occupation the sumerians built strong mud brick houses and their towns and villages were well planned they wore clothes made of sheep skin or wool and jewelry Okay let's look at the social structure pyramid of Mesopotamia The king's palaces located at the center of each city The priests and scribes were lived around king's palaces Scribes were the only people who could read and write There were also craftsmen merchants soldiers and farmers The farmers grew crops they lived in mud brick houses the slaves and laborers lived in small houses next religion the sumerians believed in many gods at the center of the city a huge structure was built to honor their god it was called the ziggurat language and writing Mesopotamians developed a form of writing through pictures. These were called pictograms. After many years, these pictures developed into a style of writing that is resembled the shape of a wedge. It was called cuneiform. It was written on clay tablets using stylus, a type of reed found near the river bed. Scribes would record daily events, matters of trade, astronomy, taxes and literature on these clay tablets. Other kingdoms of Mesopotamia. Other than Sumerians, there are some other kingdoms flourished in Mesopotamia. They were Akkadians, Babylonians and Assyrians. King Hammurabi, a Babylonian king who developed a system of laws called the code of hammurabi it is one of the first collection of written laws in the world the hanging gardens of babylon was one of the seven wonders of the ancient world contributions of mesopotamia the mesopotamians were the first to use the wheel which helped them in farming and trade they developed a number system based on 60 which is why we have 60 seconds in a minute and 60 minutes in an hour they developed a calendar which had 12 months in a year and 7 days in a week they mapped the first set of constellations They were the first creators of architectural structures such as dome, arch and pillars. They were the first to develop writing. They wrote the earliest known literature called the Epic of Gilgamesh, which had the stories of the struggle between men and the gods. They were the first to harness the wind by using a sail. They invented the first string instruments such as the harp and the lyre. They invented the cedar plow 
which was a farming machine that could pluff the land and plant seeds at the same time. Okay dears, let's recall the Mesopotamian civilization. Geographical extent between the Euphrates and the Tigris rivers. Timeline around 4000 BCE, First Kingdom Sumerians. Society and occupation, king, priest and scribes, craftsmen, merchants, soldiers, farmers, then slaves and laborers. Language and writing, pictograms, writing through pictures. Cuneiform style of writing resembling a wedge. Other kingdoms Akkadians, Babylonians, and Assyrians. Religion Many gods, religious temple Ziggurat. Then significant contributions Wheel Number system based on 60. Calendar First set of constellations Writing Earliest known literature Sail first string instruments and cedar plow. Okay dears, thank you.